dressing sexy. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahshua by Hashem, Rachachodash. Double honor to our apostles and the elder bishops of the great millstone who teach God to rule well and greet these lessons, as greet these blessings and much love and salutations unto you, fellow Akim and Nakwath out there fighting and striving for in these last days, man, to, to, to be of the hopeful elect. Shalom unto you. All right, Brother Shaquat here. Just want to uh, go into this, man. I mean, it's self explanatory. I mean, ha, ha, has the church reached all new lows? You know, I mean, w what is it going to take for you people to to truly understand who has the truth and who doesn't? Okay, this is who got it. Okay, if we all believe in God, as as our people, matter of fact, let me get a couple scriptures up because I'm I'm just spirit moving. All right, we got uh, Romans chapter ten because our people believe in God but we don't ever follow the right way this is what we follow now now I guarantee you there'll be more men that go that go to uh to that church now their their, their attendees will, or whatever will show up you know not 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 in droves like they're believing because the real men are starting to realize that that ain't nothing but a sham they're, they're seeing it for what it is okay they're seeing it for what it is and just to be openly frank with you why would I go to a church when well, I gotta play the game that way versus going to the strip club, <clears throat> or or you know some men go out and, and get a you know pay for it or whatever, get an escort or something, but you guys are frowned about that. But look at the church though, all right. But our people say we believe in God, but this is the options that we choose, right? It said brethren, my, this is Romans chapter ten verse one. Paul speaking. It says, brethren, my heart desire. And prayer to the Most High, Yahweh, which is the name of the Heavenly Father, for Israel, which are you so-called Negro, Latinos, and ne Negro, Salaki, which are you so-called Negro, Latinos, and, and Native Americans, and Seminole Indians, and South Americans, and Central Americans, okay, and West Indians, okay, and and you Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners of the world, er, earth, them, among the heathen that may even look like the heathen, all right. This is speaking of you. When the spirit moves, that's how you know. When you, when you feel the connection to this. All right? Because our, our people have a zeal of God, as I'm getting to. It says, uh, my heart desire and prayer to the Most High for Israel is that they might be saved. All right? Saved out of what? Out of this, uh, it says in uh, Micah, it says, um, uh, depart ye for this is not your rest. Man, the, the whole mind state of, of, of Babylon the Great, which America is, Sodom and Egypt, which America is, okay, among other places, <clears throat> the virgin daughter of Babylon, all right, <clears> that <throat> pride has never touched, you know, I mean, uh, judgment hasn't touched this place in, in all its pride, all right, so the whole point of this is our people believe in a God, but we don't really seek after the God that we really should be, so we need to be saved out of this mind state, we need to be saved literally out of the, 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 the this place, this land here, because it's polluted, particularly out of <clears throat> the hands of our enemies, man, the other nations, particularly the so-called white man, which is the Esau Edom, according to the Bible, all right? And the other nations as well, the Africans, if we're not Africans, they're our enemies, are all the other nations, okay? The Polynesians, the, the, um, the, uh, the, the, um, what's the other people over there, the Iran, all of them, we ain't got to have beef with them. But at the same, but at the same time, we know who our main enemy is. All right. But anyway, we believe in a God. It says, "Before I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge." So we have a zeal. So we want to do things righteously and go to church and do all those things. But now it's literally looking like the pulpit. Uh, you know, uh, uh, from the, from the uh, pimp stick to pulpit. It's really looking like that. All right. That's who you have up there as your pastors. All right? This is 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 9, talking about our women. 
All right, it says, in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel, uh, covered up. Uh, I should probably play the video while I, while I read this. Not with broidered hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Look at what these women was wearing. Attention getting close. New Globe Baptist Church in Atlanta. All right, look. Look, all the things the scriptures don't talk about. All right, all the things. Uh, hey, you put yourself out there. It says, um, in like manner also that women adorn themselves in modest apparel with shamefacedness and sobriety. They're not hidden. Lack of eye contact, they all in the camera. Okay? And through that camera, man, it, it, that, that connection can still happen. Okay? Let alone directly in the presence with eye contact. But look what they're doing. What 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 game is that that's being being played? Some of these women probably married. But they promoting going to the church like this, right? It says, but with becoming women professing godliness with good works covered up with good works all right it says let women be excuse me let women learn in silence with all subjection to her husband okay it says or or the man or at least under to the word of god all right you can get that in uh first corinthians the seventh chapter it says but i suffer not a woman to teach nor to usurp authority over the man but to be in silence for adam was first formed then eve and adam was not deceived but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. All right? So that scripture has to come out. All right? This should not even be going on with our, with our, with our women's faces. But this shows you how low of a nation we didn't been. This is, if you go to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, which I'll go actually, it'll show you all the different curses that are on our, on our people. I'll go to this. Right? It says, uh, Deuteronomy, and I'm not going to read them all, of course. But I'm gonna read this, uh, Deuteronomy 28, 14. It says, And thou shalt not go aside from any of this, excuse me, of the words which I command thee this day to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But when we're in the other these churches with that energy, that's a whole nother God. Okay, how do we know? Because it says if they speak any other word, I grab it just to be on point with. All right, the scripture says here, Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, the prophecies, the, the history, the actual laws. Okay, and I just showed you um, in, in, in the New Testament, okay, that, that, our, that our women shouldn't be uh, looked upon to get attention. But with godliness, it was with good works, right? It says, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. And I mean, you can go into the book of Leviticus, and, and and pretty much pick out um I know it's in here somewhere, bear with me though. You know, just the different things. Yeah, right here. There it is. Leviticus eighteen verse six. Matter of fact, verse five, ye shall therefore keep my statutes, is the laws, and my judgments. What if a what if a man do, he shall live in them. I am the Lord. Whatever you do, you should be living in these laws, right? None of you shall approach to any that is near of kin to him to uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord. The nakedness of thy father or the nakedness of thy mother, thou shalt not uncover. She is thy mother. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of thy father's wife shall thou not uncover. That's if he has more than one wife also, not just the mother of the child wife with the other women he may be with you're not supposed to uncover their nakedness it is thy father's nakedness okay showing you that there's possession on this on this nakedness so to speak uh, the nakedness of thy sister the daughter of thy father of another woman or or of your mother right it shouldn't go with the say or daughter of thy mother whether she is born at home or born abroad even their nakedness shall thou not uncover. No incest or nothing like that. It's probably a sensitive word. It says, The nakedness of thy son's daughter, or thy daughter's daughter, even their nakedness shall thou not uncover. For 
theirs is thine own nakedness, showing you there's ownership to it. Okay, and it's a rarity. You don't you you be covered up. Okay. It said the naked. I mean, there's plenty of scripts on this. I wasn't trying to go just deep into this. It says the nakedness of thy father's wife, wife's daughter, begot of thy father. She is thy sister. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Y'all got the same dad. It's, even though you know different moms. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's sister. She is thy father's near kinswoman. Okay. And like I said, I'm not going to read them all, but it just shows you the different nakedness, different types of, you're not supposed, brother, look, thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy brother's wife. It is thy brother's wife, okay? But it's going down the list to show you, you ain't supposed to be walking around naked, okay? When you go to, uh, just real quick, just to, because I might as well have to spill a spirit rolling, I might as well keep rolling with it. When you go into Maccabees, the first chapter, uh, it's like 10. Let me see, bear with me a second. Um, where is that verse at? Um, right here in uh, 13, it says, uh, and 14, it says, then, there, then certain of the people uh, were so f forward there, uh, herein that they went to the king and gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. So we didn't have to keep the laws. Okay? Because the heathen was ruling over us. This is during the time of the Greeks, when the Maccabees. Okay? Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem. What is that? The gymnasium. Okay? It was the word gymnasium or, or the gym come from the, the Greek word gymnos which means um, naked, okay? Showing you that also. At Jerusalem, according to the customs of the heathen. Those are heathen customs. That's not our customs. So what God are they praying to when you go into a church like this? Okay? To show you what God do you, right? <clears throat> matter of fact, Exodus chapter, matter of fact, Exodus chapter 20, verse 3, uh, verse 2, it says, I am the Lord, Yahweh." which is the name of the Holy Father, thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Okay, it says, thou shall, and we were in ancient Egypt, right? Thou shall have no other gods before me. This is him giving us what he don't with the Ten Commandments right here. In a nutshell, of the 600, you know, plus statute laws and commandments. Thou shalt, number one, is thou shalt have no other gods before me. Okay? <clears throat> he should have no other gods. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above or that, that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. When you go to these churches with these wayward spirits and these off spirits in there, that's what you're going to, to do, to worship to another god, another Baal. Okay, I mean it's just you can buy all by Alan. Those are those are all similar demons, man. Similar uh, false gods. Okay, with a twist on it, pretty much. All right. I mean they have different little things about it, but they're pretty much uh, uh, going to false gods. You know, lords, I believe, is what the word may mean. But reading on, it says, um, and that's the point there. Let's go into these. Um, I had um. Yeah, Jeremiah 23. And there's a lot of reading in this, and I'm going to read it. It says, uh, Jeremiah 23, verse 1, Woe be to the pastors that destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture. His people, you Israelites, all right? So-called Negro, Latinos, Native Americans, and Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth among the heathen that may even look like the heathen. Okay, saith the Lord Yahweh. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, power of Israel... Yasharala, he is the prince of the power, against the pastors that feed my people. Ye have started my flock and driven them away by sending gimmicks like this. Okay? By having gimmicks like this. All right? And, 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 and a lot of you people be like, oh, it's the black church. It ain't the black, just the black church. It's all these false 
churches, man. If they're not speaking according to this word, when you break this word down through the Holy Spirit, man, you, you realize the true name of the Heavenly Father. Okay, you realize what they look like, uh, his, his only begotten son, which his name is your house. You start realizing all these obvious things. Okay? What the apostles looked like, what they were doing. Now, it given realism of you, our people being in, in this thing. Okay? It says, um, yeah, it's a lot, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to jump down. Yep. To, um, yeah, I'm going to, verse 9, it says, my heart within me is broken because of the prophets. All my bones shake. I am like a drunken man and like a man whom wine have overcome. Okay, with all these philosophy, because there's no truth. The prophets aren't breaking it down, right? We get all the, they're selling sex at the church. You think that collection plate don't come, come around? All right. It says, uh, because of the words of his holiness. For the land is full of adulterers, other people worshiping and loving other gods, for because of swearing in land mourneth, excuse me, in the land mourneth, the pleasant places of the wilderness are dried up and their course of, is evil and their force is not right. And what's funny is this is really talking about our people. All right? We, we, we're uh, as a dry land when it used to be pleasant places. Okay, when we used to be a pleasant people, a good people, we're all dried up with the spirit, man. Okay, we're literally in the, the, the valley of the dry bones. All right? That's, that's the spiritual state of our people, dead. Spiritually dead. All right, it says, um, and their course is evil and their force is not right, for both prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house I have found their wickedness, saith the Lord Yahweh. <clears throat> Let me show something real quick. Actually, yeah, I got to do it this way. Bear with me. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children. Sottish meaning stupid. Okay? And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, the old path, but a, but a professing godliness of good works. But to do good, they have no knowledge. And this is our men as well. Okay, this isn't just talking about our women. It's talking about our whole nation. Okay, men and women. It was just perpetuating the slave mentality. And they, they taught us out of a slave Bible. Slave Bible that, that with a, and you put a different twist on this, man. It's another God and, and it's pushing us in captivity. But now this is the book that's supposed to free us, man, when you really go into it. All right? It says... Jeremiah 23 and 11, for both the prophet and priest are profane. Yea, in my house have I found their wickedness, saith the Lord Yahweh. And, and, and you think they, they sin like everybody else. Okay, they're man on earth like everybody else. But they, they say one thing and they do another. And then they set up, you know, the truth of being in, in these churches just for money. As like an enterprise, a tax write-off, the 501c3 charter. Okay, that you that you can't speak certain religious points or, or um, you know, there's rules to it, man. And this is not supposed to be just the truth. No rules to it. All right. It says, um, yep. Wherefore their way shall be unto them as slippery ways in the darkness. Right. <laughs> if you can, if you you gotta be in darkness to go to a church like that seeking God. I doubt there's many that'll be actually seeking the true face of the Heavenly Father was going to think to go there. <laughs> All right? It says, I'm going to just try to read it. It says, uh, in the way of darkness, they shall be driven and fall therein, for I will bring evil upon them, even the year of their visitation, saith the Lord Yahweh. Now, uh, we've been getting evil. Our slave masters have been beating us for, for hundreds of years. We're now in the ghettos and, and rat and roach and piss infested and stinking and drug infested and just, just terrible ass neighborhoods, food deserts. Okay? But then there's a there's a worse day, Jacob's trouble coming than that, than all of this. Our people are cool with, with life being like this. Gas is out of control, rain is out of control. Okay, you can't really own anything. All right, or 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 you, but you require to just be super rich, okay? And in, in the metaverse or whatever the hell. Anyway, it says, um, 
Yeah, and then that day of visitation is going to be starvation. There's going to be famine. You know, the, the men of the Lord ain't going to be out there to, to tell you what's going on to break it down for you there. You either believed or you didn't by that point. All right. And so there'll be uh, um, war, war three, you know, invading one another, martial law. All these things are coming, man. Just random killing for food. Just, man. And you guys are ready for that. It says uh, spiritually, you got to get ready for that. It says, and I have seen seen folly in the prophets of Samaria. They prophesied in Baal. Okay, what a false god. Matter of fact, let me look that word up just so we know. Go into the blue letter. Let's see. Uh, <clears throat> that was in Jeremiah. This should be right here. Yep. In the name of Baal. So let's see. You know, it's always good to look these words up to just double check, to see, to learn. H1168 uh, Baal. Baal. Okay, it says, uh, let me see, rude. Lord. It just means Lord. And you see, it's lowercase. L O R D. Okay, it's not a, it's not the heavenly capital L capital O capital R capital D. It's not that. Okay, it's just it's just another something that that's being praised and worshipped. Supreme male divinity of the Phoenicians or Canaanites, heathen, a Reubenite. Uh, you know they going to some. Okay, this is talking about the man of Reubenite, town of Simeon. Yeah. Okay. Balaam. Look, plural. Ba ba Balaam. Is the plural okay? So when you see that, it's the same thing. Lords, you know, the god, the god of, you know, all these Greek gods, and it's, it's all this different stuff, man. Even back then, it was the same stuff remixed with the Babylonians and the Egyptians and the, the prior uh, captivities. Okay, let's see here. The same thing. Owner, any owner, a husband. Okay, yep, because you're, you're the lord over your wife. Okay, but you don't have to be a cruel lord, okay? Our laws actually show us how to be a good a good lord. Anyway, it says uh nouns relationship to character uh, master dreams uh, okay. Use the look, use of foreign gods. Okay? Use the foreign gods by all. All right? To make that point now, it says um and cause my people to err, to go off. You, in, in, a, in a church like that, man, you're going off. Okay? But our people will, will hold to that because it's, it's what's comforting. It's what's... It's, our people are simple, man. Silas children. It says, um, uh, where we at? Yep. Verse uh, 14. For I, I have seen in the prophets of Jerusalem a horrible thing. They commit adultery. They walk in lies. They strengthen also the hands of evildoers that none do return from his wickedness. They look, wow, that's us, man. They strengthen the hands of evildoers. Okay? This man that runs all this, Esau, man, he runs that. The man that runs the whole Vatican church, the church system, every, all of it, man. Catholicism. Okay? These are things that's working against us. These are false gods. These are Baals or ba Baalim. But but y'all you know, or something like that I guess you would say it says uh, that none do return from his wickedness they are all of them unto me as Sodom and they are inhabitants thereof of Gomorrah and what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah man they got destroyed part of that visitation in the year of our visitation is also the missiles it would be famine and Jacob's trouble and all that the hour of temptation even about you going to join this system or not but ultimately, there's missiles coming to this place, man. And if you take that 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 implant, or you 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 join yourself onto that system, okay, you, you're gonna get um, you're gonna catch those missiles, and be destroyed physically, like Sodom and Gomorrah was, was destroyed, but worse. All right, and you won't see the reward of the prophets, man, and, and and the elect that get to get beamed up out of here, right? It says. But that's why you take heed in the spirit. It says, therefore, thus concerning the Lord of hosts, concerning the prophets, 
So like here, behold, I will feed them with wormwood and make them drink the water of gall. For from the prophets of Jerusalem is pro profaneness, profaneness gone forth into all the land. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, hearken not unto the words of the prophets that prophesy of you, uh, unto you that make you vain, Showing women like their carnality and flesh, man, is against the, the enmity of the Most High, okay? Em, em, enmity. Uh, no, I can never say it right. <clears throat> Let's get it real quick. We'll go straight to the point. Yep. Okay. Yep, yep. Let me get to a good, yep, I started 5, Romans 8 and 5, for they, for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit, for to be carnally minded is death, okay, so to be thinking about, about flesh, when you go into this church, man, you, you, you're, not, you're not thinking in the spirit, man, you, you're thinking the ways of death. Okay, when you when you understand the battle between the flesh and the and the spirit, man, the flesh is gonna lose every time. Right? It says, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. And it's gotta be in, in the Holy Spirit, man. Of your how about me outside, not of these other other gods. And that name has to be vibrated, you know, amongst our people to see those jump and you know, to, to choose or not choose or, or uh, prove to be chosen or not. Okay? It says because the carnal mind is enmity, enmity, excuse me, against the Most High, for it is subject, it is, excuse me, not subject to the law of God, neither can be, if you're if you're carnally minded, okay. So then they are in the flesh cannot please God. So how's that church pleasing pleasing you know the Most High? Who who's gonna go there? All right, let's go back. <clears throat> Excuse me. 23. Okay, I'm going to read. I'm going to jump around this chapter. So it's a beautiful chapter anyway. Uh, yep. I'll read 25 because it's always a good place to start. I have heard what the prophets said. They prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have a dream. <laughs> I have dreamed. I have dreamed. Okay, we know that famous speech. Okay, it says, How long shall this be in the heart of the prophets that prophesy lies? And I believe, uh, what's that guy's name that wrote that speech? <laughs> it wasn't who you're thinking it is, it was his lover. Anyway, it says, um, You can put that together. They are prophets of deceit of their own heart. We were supposed to be segregated. Okay, and I'm gonna actually grab this article about it, about in certain places in the South they're trying to do that, and, and it, it is it is more beneficial if our people are in a righteous state of mind, and if because we have to go to them. If you go to Deuteronomy 28, we have to go to them for the one of all things. I'm talking about it, man, Salaki. We have to go to them for the one of all things. Um, it should be like right here. Bear with me. Yep, right here is good enough. Um, 47, Deuteronomy 28, 47, because thou serves not the Lord Yahweh thy God with joyfulness, with gladness of heart, for the abundance of all things. And then we could have had everything, man, if we'd have stuck with the Heavenly Father. But we like to go to these other gods, man, these other Baal, Balaam's. Okay, it says, um, uh, 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 therefore shall thou serve thine enemies which the Lord Yahweh shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. We have to go there for everything though. But, but we should be separate. We should definitely be spiritually separate. Okay? It says um, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck he sh until he have destroyed thee. And that's what he's done. And what, what's part of that yoke? We the, these license systems, okay? These uh, 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 
you got to have these certain passports or driver's license and insurance and now you got to go to job all of this the whole way of thinking and you got to celebrate christmas then you got thanksgiving then your kids go on spring break and then they got to go on a trip and then they disneyland and all of this stuff man is all got you captive man but it, but but it's even worse because if you if you play outside of the rules of this game they send you to prison Okay, or, or the jail or whatever, and to that life. Institutionalized either way. Anyway, it says, um, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. And that's that part that he already has on us. But we've been playing with the game, getting out of it, and now he's going to go to a digital implant yoke. Okay, with this MOTB. It says, uh, yeah, that was the point of that. It does say it there. It says, The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flieth, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, a nation of fierce countenance, which thou, excuse me, which shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. Okay, because no one is teaching the right things. No one's living the right way. You can't get good health care. All of these levels that they're destroying our people on. But the worst is, 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 is spiritually. Okay? They allow this stuff to go up as far as women twerking at church or whatever the hell is going on. Stripping half naked in church. Bosom all out. Okay? Our people doing it. It's not just women in general. It's our women doing it in Atlanta. Okay, to get men to come to church more. Stop. Teach them the word. All right. I'm gonna read from. Uh, shoot. Yep. When you go, you go to that history, but nope. Just Jeremiah three and twelve. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, "Return, thou backsliding Israel." You should be listening for the people that's telling you that. Okay, because the prophets are out there teaching and pro prophesying. Okay, edifying breaking things down for you okay out there available weekend and week out man 24 hours on the on the internet it's out there okay on the unicorn it's out there all right it says um return thou backsliding israel from these other gods man stick with me with who yahweh and his only through his only begotten son by hashem yahweh shai okay yahweh shai is the name of who you ignorantly call jesus christ all right which is a so-called dark skin uh, black man, okay? It says, uh, and I will not cause mine anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, saith the Lord Yahweh. Who's calling on, on, on a specific name that you hadn't heard before? I don't mean like you hadn't heard it before, but not the conventional name of Jesus when there was no letter J, when, when the name was on the earth, okay? In, in our people's mouths, there was no letter J. His image is, in, is written in the Bible, and it doesn't uh, proclaim him to look uh, like like Jesus. Okay, I don't even like saying the, the, the word, man. It's a whole other God. In, in anyway, it says, uh, "Said the Lord, I will cause my anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful." I, mean, I will not call my anger. You know, we got to call on him. He says, and follow after the statute of laws and commandments through our faith. It says, and I will not keep anger forever. Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against thy people. And this is what we're doing. We're, we're crying aloud. We're sparing now. We're lifting up our voices like a trumpet, like it says in Isaiah uh, 58 and 1, you know, and to show uh, they, Jacob their transgressions in the house of Israel their sins. All right. It says, uh, only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord Yahweh thy power and hast scattered the ways to the stranger under every green tree. Excuse me, you see it? All right. Under every other God. And ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. Acknowledge that. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. And I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. So those of you that's, that's being called to this thing, man, you got to come. How will you know? Because you'll, you'll hear the prophets prophesy, you'll see them, and, you'll, and, you'll, and the spirit will be on you to inquire more about it, man. 
All right. It says, and I will give you pastors according to mine heart, not the conventional ones that preach Jesus, man, in the, in the churches every Sunday and Wednesday night and Tuesday meetings and all of that, man. It's about simply edifying the people. Okay, when you really get into what this Bible is truly about and what the real mission of the prophets is truly about. And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, to the true mind of the Heavenly Father. How do you find that? Through the spirit of the book. Okay? The spirit of the book is the spirit of prophecy, and the spirit of prophecy is Yahweh Shai, man, according to you know, Revelation the 19th chapter. It says, uh, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding, okay? And, and the levels of, of, of understanding are, are what? Uh, milk, got to start with the basics. A lot of basics I tried to cover in this one, okay? Um, other, uh, um, you know, water, well, you know, uh, there's, there's, there's wine, okay? The good stuff, not, not that old uh, uh, false philosophy, other God, other demon uh, uh, wine philosophies, okay? bread all right and meat all right it says uh we shall feed you with knowledge of and understanding and, and that's what comes man with all that getting man all this knowledge get understanding that you got to be humble with it you got to be willing to, to sacrifice um make your body a living sacrifice to to, to share with people okay in a proper spirit all right uh, i'm trying to think Oh, I got more. Bear with me. Jeremiah 19, verse 4. Because they have forsaken me and have estranged this place and have burned incense in, in unto it, okay, other gods, whom neither they nor their fathers have known, nor the kings of Judah, and have filled this place with the blood of innocence. Okay, and this is how bad we go. Okay, and this is how low our people go, man. Our people give our kids up for different entertainment and sacrifices. They get kidnapped and you know, sold. Our people being sold, and man, it's, it's crazy what's going on to our nation of people, man. God's chosen people destroyed, man. Okay, and this is the only way we get out of this. When this place collapsed and everything we love is gone, man. It says, uh, they have built, as a matter of fact, the kings of Judah. Judah is the, the so-called southern kingdom, the, the Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, <coughs> the so-called Negro, uh, West Indian, and Haitians. And then uh, Israel is the uh, the northern kingdom, okay? This is where you get your, um, uh, how do I say it? Um, basically, your, your Central and South American tribes, your, your, your Native Americans, North American Indians, Seminole Indians, okay? Your... Um, some of the, the Brazilians and, and, and Chileans and Panamanians, and so on and so forth. Mexicans, of course, all right? As well as Peruvians, and you know, I, I didn't name them all, but where, where our people are scattered. But it's the spirit in our people that are, are, is the real concern, and, and particularly the spirit of Yahweh Bashimi outside. Something that this Bible and the Heavenly Father is calling you to change your life for, okay? It says, uh, they have built on the high places of Baal to burn their sons with fire for burnt offerings unto Baal. And that's doing it to our daughters as well, our children. All right. Which I commanded not, nor spake it, neither came in uh, into my mind. I didn't even think about it. He didn't even think of it, right? It said, therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that this place shall no more be called Tophet, nor the valley of the sons of Hinnom, but the valley of slaughter. Okay, and I will make void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place, and I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies. This is what's happening to our people, man. This is what has been happening to our people. Because when we were with our power and we obeyed our power and followed directions of, of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, okay, through his spirit, when we followed it, what? We we couldn't be touched or defeated. All right, it's in our history. Well, the moment we turn to these other gods, man, is when he, he took us down. And those curses be, begin to uh, to really get on us. Okay, of not following the laws and, and so on and so forth. It says, 
Uh, and I will make void the council of Judah and Jerusalem in this place, and I will cause them to fall by the sword before their enemies, and by the hand of them that seek their lives and their carcasses will I give to be meat for the fowls of the of the heaven, vultures pretty much, and for the beasts of the earth. And I will make this city desolate and, and in hissing. Uh, everyone that passes thereby shall be astonished or astonished and hiss because of all the plagues thereof looking at our people man how destroyed our people are okay and I will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and of their daughters now here's the thing man cannibalism is coming back okay you've been already you know enjoying you know a, a nice dosage of, of human meat in, in your food anyway why would they not okay place is, is, is terrible man we got to get out of here it says uh and i will cause them to wait i read that it says uh i'm down at nine it says and i will cause them to eat the flesh of their sons and of their daughters when the famine of jacob's trouble truly hits it's gonna be cannibal cannibalism man people gonna go to eat eating their, their children man that's the man they're gonna eat their children man they're gonna be looking to eat people you, you see it in these apocalyptic movies the road and uh the book of eli Man, people gonna be doing those types of things. And there's other ones too, where they ate human. All right, anyway, it said, uh, <clears throat> uh, yep, it says, and they shall eat every one of the flesh of his friend in the siege and in straightness. And we went through one in 70 AD, but then we're gonna go through another one in the times that come come now. All right, siege and the straightness, where we, we, we did cannibalism. Okay, it says with their enemies, and they that seek their lives have straightened them. Thou shalt break the bottle in the in the sight of men that go with thee. Let's see, I don't want to know much more of that. That was all on there. Jeremiah chapter sixteen. It said, therefore, behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, that I will no more. Excuse me, it, it shall no more be said, the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. This is where we're gonna get delivered from. Okay? This is the land of the north. It's gonna be it's gonna be voiced that we got uh delivered from here and not that we were delivered in Egypt. It's gonna overtake it in greatness. Okay, that's how miraculous it's gonna be, but two thirds of our people can't make it, man. You're not meant to. The elect are gonna make it. And you got to get your mind into this and the right spirit and, and believe with, with all your faith, man. Study this word. Get your faith built up, okay, by being in the word, hearing the testimonies, praying, fasting, all these things, man. You know, rehearsing the righteous acts. Okay, it says, uh, yep. It said, but the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north, from, from all the lands where they're he have driven them from being scattered. We're going to come back to be all one nation. Amos chapter 9. It says, uh, I won't grab that. It says, and I will bring them again to their land that I gave to their fathers. And we're going to get back the land of Israel at, uh, at some point, man, after they uh, eradicate, you know, the inhabitants thereof right now. It says, behold, I will send for many fishers. And we ain't got to do that, man. World War Three is going to take that take that you know this place and that place and other places in the earth is going to really take out these edomites man all right these edomite run country it says uh, because i will send for many fishers saith the lord yahweh and they shall fish them and that's what we're doing now they call themselves the fishermen they use that symbol of the fish because they feel like they're fishermen they're not fishermen they're praying to dagon it's another god okay matter of fact look at this I hit images, but look, look at this, fish man, look at his hat right here in black and white, okay, what does that look like, all right, all right, false god, man, it's a, a fish god, man, okay, dating all the way back, okay, dating all the way back, this is before, uh, uh, Roman Catholicism, because uh, they're just remixing this stuff, man. 
Okay. All right. Because I let me see. Okay, you can see right there. What does that look like? What does that look like? Look at this. What does that look like? Okay, a fish head. Don't don't even play with it. Okay. All this symbolism. Look. Look like a fish up there, man. A fish mouth. Look. All this showing you. Showing it to you. That looks straight up like a fish. I ain't going too deep. All right, so if they in there doing it wrong, man, how do you fish? How do you really fish? You fish them with the word, man, with the sincere word of, of your how about you, how shy. It's the same as the knock on the door, okay? You have to want us up and, uh, and open the door, okay? It says, uh, uh, but that will be chosen in your spirit. It says, uh, and after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. All right, and what is that talking about? When they turn to hunters, man, we're going to have spiritual power. The chairs is going to be in their they thing. I mean, Jake is going to get energized, man, on a whole nother level. Okay? Because we're connected in the spirit, it'll play out beautifully in the, in the flesh. We get the upgrade of flesh, right? So we shall all be changed. Real 1 Corinthians 15 and... Uh, 52 in a moment and in the twinkling of an eye at the last trump okay in revelation for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed okay all right we're gonna be changed we're gonna get spiritual power man those that that died in your house by shimei are gonna rise incorruptible man first all right, and we shall be changed if we those that didn't see death, that wasn't martyrs, that that died in in in, in, in you know, that, that that lived anyway through it all. Hey man, we're all gonna be there. Under under Yahweh by Shimei outside, Yahweh shall be right there with the chariots, man. All right, King David will be back. All right, for those that that know who who that is. All right. I'll close out with this unless the spirit hits me for something else. It says uh Jeremiah 6, verse 16. I want more. Yeah, I did, yep. Uh verse uh chapter 6, verse. Yep, verse Salaki. Wow. Yeah, I won't start there. I'll start here. Uh at 14. They have healed. Also, the hurt of the daughter of my people slightly saying peace, peace when there is no peace. And they just go and comfort our people, comfort our women, and just say peace, peace when there is no peace. Tell our people, hey, it's okay. This man's never going to come in like a flood on us. But the scriptures say prophesy otherwise. They're going to come in like 70 AD. But things after 70 AD haven't come to pass yet. Okay? So there is no preterist view. On, on the scriptures, it's still prophetic because after our bodies are changed, as we read, right, and we shall all be changed, we're gonna have this written in us. We won't need the word. We won't have to teach our own people. Everybody will know. You know, that's the second covenant. All right, that hasn't been initiated yet, and we definitely don't have new bodies. It says, uh, "Thus, uh, what was that? The middle of that one? Yep, fifteen. Uh, were they ashamed when they had committed abomination? Nay, they were not at all ashamed, neither could they blush. Therefore, they should, shall fall among them that fall. At the time that I visit them, they shall be cast down, said the Lord Yahweh. Yeah, in the time of the visitation. And I'm telling you, man, Yahweh Shah is coming back to judge the earth. If World War III is going to be part of that judgment and punishment of the judgment, okay? All these things are coming. The famine, the, the 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 riots, the man, all of this, man, the killing, all that's gonna be part of this, man. All right. Matter of fact, I do have something. Real quick, two scripts. Um, first John, first one is first John chapter two, verse fifteen. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world, because those are all carnal, which that was leading you to. Matter of fact, I almost forgot to show you. Where's the pr protection of the most high, man? Where's the protection? L.A. Bishop shot and killed in Hacienda Heights. 
authorities say. How so? How are they the people, man? Okay. Well, you watch this. More breaking news that is shaking the local Catholic community tonight. A well-known bishop found dead from a gunshot wound at a home in Hacienda Heights. Reactions continue. Now, now listen to the man. Now I'm being funny, but not really. This is the man here. I don't know this man. I don't know what he's done. But when you hear these stories about what happens with these archdioceses and all of these levels of churches, they moving them around. He looked like he got moved around, man. That's all I'm saying. All right. Somebody went and took him out for moving around, doing the same thing. That's what I believe. But hey, I have no proof. I speak as a man on that. But my point was, where's the protection? If they're the people of the Lord and this is the kingdom of heaven for them or whatever, and we're meant to be slaves, then where, where's where's the laws written in them? Why are they allowing things like like anybody that they're slaves to go or they're, they're servants anyway to go and just have types of wicked church out there? Wicked church, they're supposed to be the people of righteousness. But they're not the real people. We're the real people. Continuing to pour in over his death. Eyewitness News reporter Leanne Suter live in Hacienda Heights. You know it's Jackson there too that believed in it. So much shock and sadness for the Catholic community, especially here in Hacienda Heights. You can see live over my shoulder here. Mourners have gathered here at the scene as they struggle to comprehend the sudden death of that bishop. <laughs> Devastated parishioners gather by the crime scene tape as deputies investigate the suspicious death of Auxiliary Bishop Suspicious. Jake. I'm um, scared to tell my wife, you know, because my wife loved him so much. Authorities were called to the home on Jan Lou Avenue in Hacienda Heights around 1 p.m. for a person who was not breathing. It was learned that the person was found deceased in the room, bleeding. What we believe is an apparent gunshot wound to his upper torso. Yep. At this point, investigators are only calling it a death investigation. The 69-year-old has served the L.A. Archdiocese for 45 years. As a priest and then bishop. During evening mass, Archbishop Jose Gomez expressing his shock and sadness as he announced the sudden death. Bishop Day was a man of deep prayer, but a great love for our blessed mother. <laughs> Look how they speak positive. He was a peacemaker a with a heart for the poor. But the, the, but the scriptures don't say that, man. Okay. Who have I forsaken? Well, hold on, let me get it. Job chapter 4, verse 7. Pray, remember, I pray thee, whoever perished being innocent, or where were the righteous cut off? Okay. So we know this man wasn't right. Okay, and I don't want to hear that, oh, we're all small short. That's not what they're pushing, man. That's not the message they push. Okay, by gunshot wound, the Lord is going to honor his people. You know, his servant by being shot by a gunshot wound if he wasn't committing wickedness somewhere. Okay, and it's an apparent they can't solve the crime. Come on, really? Really? The most you, you you take that credit from the most high? You can't make that happen the right way? All right? If they're doing the right thing. Back in first John chapter two, verse fifteen, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. If you were attached to this place, you love the things on this earth, man. You, the love of the Father is not in you. Okay? For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. If you have those things, whether you was committing, moving around, you know, if you know about they they move you to another uh, church, <laughs> you know, if he was one of them or whatever, Whatever your issues are, man, he's not having it, man. He, somebody gun you down. Okay, like like a street thug, man. Okay? That man was not doing the right thing. But our people will love and be about, uh, follow somebody like that, man. Okay, lead them right to, to, to uh, the, the, the mark of the beast. Okay, it says, uh, yep, it says, uh, that, was, that was the point I wanted on that. Um... All right, now in 1 John 4, I mean, yeah, 4 and 4 says, Ye are of the Most High, little children, and overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. 
they are of the world, therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Okay? When you speak of the world, the world hears people, man. If you feel about this flesh and about this life on earth, man, everybody will be about it, man. But when you when you start to speak in the spirit of people, man, they don't want to hear it. All right? It says, uh, Yep, the word, we are of the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, in the name of Yahweh Shai. He that knoweth the Most High heareth us. He that is not of the Most High heareth not us. Okay, hereby we know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Those that don't hear what? The words of this book. Okay, if it's not to the law, to the testimony, because there's no light in them, man. Okay, that's how you know. And the spirit of error, which is the, the, the carnal way of life that everybody else wants to live, particularly our people. Okay, with going to church because women are shaking that thing and whatever they walking around, busty cleavage and all of that, and then he ain't protecting no the people that run them churches, man. It's not, you think you do your your homework and show you that that these uh the that Roman Catholicism goes right down to your Christian churches, man. You that you, you so called black church, man. All right. But anyway, I'm gonna end it there. Uh, giving all praises and glories unto you. How about Hashem Yahushai, by Hashem HaRachakodash, that belong to our apostles and our elders and bishops of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. And greetings, salutations, and blessings, much love unto you men and women out there, fellow servants, you that are uh, humbled in the spirit of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, and fighting for your salvation in these last days. Shalom unto you.